it could be maybe like a bent valve because yes. it was rolled on its top. Dang, dude. Dude, that looks What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad Garage and we're gonna continue working on the G63. As you guys seen in the previous video, we finally finished up the paint job on the tub. So the roof is finished up and the whole entire body is nice in that Arabian gray and it turned out absolutely amazing. We're actually about to pull this sucker outside into the sunlight and just see what it looks like. It always looks better out in some natural lighting and right now it's actually like the perfect weather to just see what this color truly looks like. And uh, basically all we got left to paint is just some doors, fenders, hood, and a few other little trim pieces. And the whole entire paint job is gonna be finished up. So right now, basically what we wanna do is just pull this sucker outside and just unwrap everything and just kinda just brainstorm a little bit more and see what's gonna be the best approach because we can put the interior together, we could just do some stuff on the exterior, we can focus on the rest of the paint job. So really don't know what we wanna do. So let's just go ahead, unwrap this sucker, pull it out, and we'll just go from there. That's a perfect match right dude, there, dude. Looks good, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We have never been able to just get a perfect match with a new paint job and the original part, but right there, dude. Dude, solid colors, yeah, man. That's dude, true. they come out perfect all the time. I mean, that just looks absolutely amazing. I mean, no, no metallics, no like sparkles and any, anything like that. And it's it's always the best dude, match. Dude, right that there. is awesome. That means we don't have to worry about painting this door, that door right there. This door does have a little dinger in it right there, but. We could probably, what, PDR that right yeah, there? Yeah, we're thinking about maybe even calling a PDR spe specialist out here to see if he can pop that out. Even though we have some stuff, I know there's way better stuff out there and way better technology. So we may end up getting somebody out here, seeing if they can pop that out. If not, then we'll just have to paint it, no big deal, but it looks good. I mean, this whole entire side just looks almost done, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think that's what we're gonna do is maybe throw on maybe that back door over there. Yeah, and the back door, the front door, obviously is gonna need to be painted. So we may even throw on that door. Maybe this deck lid, I know it has a little bend at the top. If we can straighten it out without having to do any body work, we're gonna slap that thing on there. Maybe even just slap the whole interior in this Dude, thing. Let's do it, let's, let's keep moving. It. Alright guys, so we're just 
just moving along, instead of actually jumping into that interior and just assembling everything, we just thought it would be best to just finish all the paintwork and then throw everything together at once. So that's what we moved on with. We moved on with the whole entire front end right here. We got everything wet sanded, the hood, the front grill, the fenders, and also that new door. We did, however, have to fix some scratches on this hood, but we got that quickly knocked out through some primer and it's all ready to go. And also we did kind of notice a little mismatch of color versus the new paint and the old paint and once that sun came out it just started like getting darker or something like that so super weird mismatch we'll show you guys that here in a little bit once we get everything sprayed in so let's just go ahead spray this stuff in clear it up and then we'll talk about the g-wagon So we are done painting in the paint booth and I gotta say everything just turned out absolutely perfect. Now over here on the G-Wagon guys, you guys know where we painted this whole entire tub right here and we threw on these original doors without painting them as well as the back hatch and the door over there. And then after like different lighting and like the sun moving around, we kind of noticed that the original paint actually doesn't match up to the new paint. It's just ever so slight. Honestly, don't even know if you'll be able to pick that up on camera, but like in person, you can tell that this right here is darker than that right there. Can you see it on camera I mean, there? yeah, from afar, you can definitely tell, but once you get close, like at this gas cap, it's kind of hard. Oh yeah, this gas cap, you can tell. I think it's Dude. just the way uh, the angle is because in the sun, you could not tell whatsoever. In the shade, yeah. you can tell it 100%. Dude, that sucks right there because this is the exact same paint code right here, but I guess it's just a different brand of paint. So they might like mix it a little bit different. They might- Or they call they could use water-based paint. We're using solvent-based. So that could be yeah. a very big deal. Yeah, different companies, I guess, mix their paints differently. But you know what? This slight variation is enough for us to just sand it down and repaint it because this is an expensive vehicle. It's like $200,000. We got to have it looking perfect. So that is not going to fly. So that's going to be probably what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and sand those doors. This back door right here, on top of that, it needs a little bit of body work right here because we did some uh, paintless dent removal, but it just looks like somebody punched it with some knuckles. So we got to fix that right there and paint it as well as this door over here. And I think it should go pretty quick. As far as the fender flares and the bumpers go though i think we don't have to paint those because they do sit at like a completely different angle and look at that dude yeah it's, it's kind of hard to tell because you know it's flat against that way so it's like a 90 and it's just completely off so we may get away with that it just depends when it comes down to like putting this whole thing together yeah i mean if it becomes an eyesore you know what we'll pop the fenders off in the bumpers and we'll head straight to the paint booth we right got there. our own <laughs> exactly so i guess right now let's just go ahead and probably take care of this last bit of paint work let's take apart some of these doors right here sand them down, paint them, and then we'll be able to assemble this thing fully.
goodness, dude. dude. That looks good. Just the fenders and the hood was thrown on, and it already just, I just want to go ahead and throw the whole thing together. Dang, dude. dude. It looks so good. Like, just all one color. The match is perfect, man. With this front end on the front, it's gonna look so dude, sick. And we dude. are gonna do that. That's probably what we're gonna start throwing together as soon as we're done with painting everything else. So we threw all the doors into the paint booth except for one because we just found a lot of like little like dents and stuff on one door. Got all that knocked out. The trunk was fixed as well. All we got left is to sand one door and then we're gonna spray all that stuff in. And then once that's dry, we're going to be out here throwing this front end together. Yes, dude. sir. Dude, that's the last of our paintwork right there. We have been painting left and right. We basically took this thing through an assembly line dude, in Germany. Yes, that's exactly what it was. The, the roof, the tub, the front end, the doors. I mean, now it's time to basically finish that up and just start piecing this thing together. And it'll be done, dude. Are man. you kidding me, man? Dude, that came out amazing, dude. That front bumper, dude, looks so good with that bull bar on dude, there, man. Dude, this front end is freaking sweet. I love the G63 front end. It just looks so, so clean. I love how, yeah, the bull bar just goes perfectly around that bumper. Oh, it yeah. makes it look so sporty, dude. Yeah, I don't like the uh, older model because I think it goes up way too high over the headlights. This just looks super sick. I mean, that, that's pretty, almost, the front end's almost done. I mean, we gotta throw on our fender flares right here, which that will tie everything up. It's gonna look sick. Dude, dude, but yeah, everything looks super good as far as like the color match and everything goes. The bumper match, like you can't even tell that there's a difference in color between the bumper and the new fresh paint right there. So I think that might fly, might work, dude. Dude, we just gotta throw the fender flares on and check it out, but it looks super dude, good. Dude, it looks super good. And the stuff is painted in the paint booth. Everything just turned out absolutely just flawless in there. Oh yeah, we may even have to go ahead and pull some of that stuff out and let it bake in the sun because I kind of want to throw the doors on this thing too. Yeah, we need to throw in all the doors. We need to throw in that interior. Just keep on moving with uh, just putting this thing together as much as we can. Let's keep on going. This paint booth has saved our lives. Changed our lives, saved our lives. So on and so forth. I mean, look at that glass. The classification. moving right along guys and check this out we threw on all the fender flares along with this rear bumper tail lights and all that good stuff and i gotta say it is looking absolutely insane especially on this side we even threw on that side step right there and i gotta say dude that looks super clean and the stuff is actually matching up pretty nice and we did notice something pretty interesting it's all about the lighting with this paint right here so 
This is the original uh, rear bumper right here, and it actually looks a little bit lighter than this paint right here, which is supposed to look darker, but in this type of lighting and the angle that it sits right there, it kind of makes it look like it's different. So it's weird, man. I think I'm it's gonna telling work. you. I'm glad we didn't paint all this because it actually looks perfect in this lighting. But dude, that exhaust looks super oh, good dude. with that sidestep, man. That looks really good. I was thinking about maybe like blacking that out in, along with the exhaust tips right there, but I think it actually flows. Not dude, too it bad. looks good. And with the new wheels, I think it's gonna match up great. Yes, I can't wait to show you guys those new wheels, but this side right here looks amazing as well. Fender flares are on. We even threw on this gas cover right here matches perfectly it is time to move into the inside what we're going to do is go ahead and install that sunroof first and then maybe the headliner and then a bunch of stuff on the interior Mercedes, a bug head is on top of it, man. Out here quick. I don't know any other dealership that just delivers. All the way, two hours away. Trying oh, to get it. Trying to get it going. Got that roof on that you brought us right there? I like that color too. Yeah, the color is beautiful. All righty guys, so Mercedes of Buckhead just rolled up with like pretty much the rest of the parts that we need. Yep. What the do we got right step there? step right here that we really need. You got like the trim and stuff that goes around it. The front driver door glass, that destroyed door, we need that glass. And also like a bunch of trim pieces. Got like the a wiring harness for the shocks and stuff that we really need. And also got like some trim pieces and a bunch of other stuff, especially for the turn signal up top we just ordered these yesterday and they're already dude. here dude that's insane dude huge shout out to alex over there at buckhead man he is absolutely crushing the it best dude. mercedes dealership around dude is I, in atlanta i gotta say look at this they brought out a mercedes to deliver mercedes parts for uh g63 dude, here that's awesome and we're moving right along yeah. we got the rear deck door on we got everything cleaned up right here we're headliner about to, the headliner in we're about to throw in like some of the carpet pieces finishing up like some of these exterior trim pieces here and there that way we can just move on with this interior just keep on going and we pretty much have everything we need yeah. at this point dude i'm hoping maybe that like as we're plugging stuff in maybe that check engine light will go off and maybe it'll get out of limp mode i'm just hoping for the best right yeah, now because it, it sucks because you can't really go fast you know it's yeah. slow it's like really slow so once we piece everything together hopefully it cuts off a limp mode if not once it's all done we can take it to somebody or call somebody out here take it to atlanta dude <laughs> <laughs> hey they can probably come pick it up you know yeah, I mean? we have to figure something out dude i'm thinking the worst case scenario it could be maybe like a bent valve i think i've seen some of the comments like that because yes. it was rolled on its top right yeah, it rolled on its top and if it ran like that or if it rolled on its top and got 
got oil up there and then it got cut on it could bend a valve but when we pulled the plugs there was like no like no oil presence in there. of oil that been burnt or anything like that so who knows we'll definitely check it out maybe it's just a sensor you never know hey, if it comes down to like changing some valves dude we might just upgrade the to, horsepower dude. I have to pull the whole motor out <laughs> oh, that would suck dude but anyways let's just keep on moving as much as we can install maybe this other run, running board here and some other stuff and just get, get it, it together one step, one step closer a front wheel speed sensor that's it that's probably why our engine lights on where's that one code that i was bringing up remember that one time it's not bringing it up anymore no way uh -uh. that's literally the most important yeah. code the other stuff doesn't matter dude if we're out of limp mode right now what we're, are you gonna do we're, we're ripping this thing dude, that, that's what i'm talking about what are you gonna do if we're out of limp mode <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna limp on <laughs> limp around dude that, that would be so insane because this thing is just so close. We just threw on a bunch of stuff. The interior, we threw on this glass. We threw on that side step over there. The Just every little thing. Even the Mercedes badge, dude. dude. The Mercedes badge, the whole front end. Is what if that was the issue? We didn't have the Mercedes badge That's probably badge why in. it doesn't run because, you know, those little holes were sucking in too much air. Engine lot. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. I mean, it, the engine light cut off, it's still slow. Maybe because the doors are not on, dude. <laughs> what if it, if it don't, doesn't want you to go a certain mile per hour or something like or that? Or maybe it's that sp uh, sensor, you know, that speed sensor or something like that? So it's some kind of speed sensor. Oh, it probably is a speed sensor, you know? It doesn't want to give you speed. That's Next the whole video, point. dude. <laughs> but guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I mean, this sucker is just looking absolutely insane. It sucks that we're still in limp mode, but you know what? We're going to figure it out, guys. We're going to get to the bottom of this issue. You're going to see this sucker just flying by but for the most part we are almost done there might be like one or two more videos on this g63 build and that's going to be a wrap right there so thank you guys so much for all the love and support drop all your comments and thoughts down below we'll be sure to catch you next time peace